Welcome to R Squared Academy. In this demo, I will show you how to launch the Shiny app from the OLSRR package. I assume that you have installed the package and loaded it into the current R session. You can launch the app in your browser using OLS underscore launch underscore app function. The app takes a few seconds to load. You can explore the app with sampled data sets or read data from external files. In this demo, I will show you how to read data from external files. Click on the Upload File button. You can read data from different files like delimited files, Excel spreadsheets, JSON, and files from commercial softwares. You can upload multiple files and choose to analyze data from any one of them. Let us upload different files into the app. Go to the bottom right of the page, and click on the Data Selection tab. From the drop-down box, select the data set you want to analyze, and click on the Submit button. You will be taken to the Data Transformation tab. Here you can see three columns. The first column displays the names of the variables in the data set. Scroll down and inspect that all the variables present in the file are displayed here. The second column allows you to rename variables. Let us rename some of the variables. The third column allows you to specify the data type of the variables. You can choose from numeric, integer, factor, character and date. Let us change the data types. Once you have modified the variables, scroll down and click on the Apply Changes button. The next step is to select variables you want to analyze. If you want to use all the variables in the data set, click on the No button, and you will be taken to the Filter tab. If you want to select variables, click on the Yes button. Remove the variables you do not need, and click on the Submit button. You will now be taken to the Filter tab. If you do not want to filter data, click on the No button, and you will be taken to the Data Screening tab. If you want to filter the data, click on the Yes button. Select a variable from the Filter drop-down box. Then select an operator. Next specify the value, based on which to filter the data. And click on the Filter button. You can repeat the steps to filter multiple times. Now click on the Screen Data button, at the bottom right of the page. In the Screen tab, you will see a table with five columns. The first column displays the variable name. You can see the variable names, as modified in the Transform tab. The second column displays the data types. The third column displays levels of the factor variables. Inspect this column to ensure, that all the levels in a variable are present. The last two columns display the number, and percent of missing values in each variable. You can also see the overall missing values, as well as the number of rows and columns in the data, with at least one missing value. Once you have screened your data, click on the Approve button. It will regenerate the data, with all the changes implemented. You have now reached the Data Sampling tab. Here you can generate a random sample of your data set. Click on the No button, if you do not want to generate a random sample. Click on the Yes button, and you can choose between two methods to sample the data. Click on the percentage button, if you want to sample, a certain percentage of observations, or click on the observations button, if you want to sample, a certain number of observations. After that, you can specify the sample size, using percentage or number of observations. Finally, click on the submit button, to generate the sample data, and go to the data partition tab. Here you can partition your data, between training, and test sets. Click on the No button, if you do not want to partition the data set. By clicking on the Yes button, you can specify the sample size, of the training set. Finally, click on the Submit button, to partition the data, and go to the Analyze tab. In the Analyze tab, click on the button against regression, to build the model. Specify the model formula in the text box.
and click on the Submit button. You can use this model in all the other tabs, by selecting the Use Previous Model checkbox. You can also use a different model, by specifying the model formula in the text box. Click on the Help button, to view the documentation, and the Demo button, to view a demo video. To learn more about the package, visit our website. Thank you.